Hello, how you doing? This is a Recover Perfectionist and today we're going to do a makeup tutorial of how I do my makeup when I go to the gym. It is easy, it's fast, it can't just be used for the gym, it could be used for other outings when you want to just look fresh faced and not too overdone. So right now you see me with no makeup on, my hair has not been picked out, nothing. So you will get to see the complete transformation and it won't take but probably less than 10 minutes, maybe 12 at the most. So let's get started. All right, so let's get started. We're going to do this makeup look with less than six makeup products, but I'm not including the things to like moisturize my face. So all we're going to use for this look is foundation, contour, uh, a liquid, cream to liquid, oh my God, cream to powder, finish, blush, a highlight, concealer, and a eyeshadow palette. And we're only using one eyeshadow from the palette. So that is six items, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then um, we have the items that don't count, which would be our brushes and moisturizer. So make it quick, want to quickly um, hydrate my face. This is a rose spray, um, Mario Battis, Battis Show. This is what it is, okay? I've had this forever, so it's a face spray with aloe herbs and rose water. Then, I want to use La Roche Prose, Pose, um, double repair, voice, oh my God, double repair face moisturizer. You only need a little bit, so it's just that amount. And I already had a uh, Vaseline on my face on my lip sachet. So, I could technically say I have some products, but I'm not gonna count the Vaseline. Okay. And then we're going to do a sunscreen. This is also La Roche Posay, um, 100 SPF. All right, um, melt-in milk sunscreen. So this, you only really need a tiny, about, tiny amount. And I'm not using a setting spray. I'm not using a um, primer, because guess what? We about to be sweating in the gym, so it's coming off anyway. This is just to look cute in the gym and anywhere I go afterwards. So we're not doing a whole lot. All right, foundation, um, we're using Fenty Beauty. Um, this usually takes me three pumps, three to four pumps to do a full face of makeup that is full coverage, but we're going to the gym, so we don't need that much. So I'm gonna do like the influencers. Oh, one pump there and oh, not even a full pump there. And we're just gonna buff that into the skin. Mm hmm Buff, 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 buff it up. Buff, buff, buff it up. We'll buff it in, but yeah, so I don't care what people say. I like to look cute when I go anywhere and everywhere and that includes the gym. But I'm not going to waste makeup, a whole bunch of makeup, looking cute at the gym. Have I worn a full face? Mm, if, I, if I'm if i going somewhere, if I've already gone somewhere for the day, but today this is all I'm doing. I'm going to the gym and I got a few little places that I go afterwards. So no, I'm not gonna do a full face of soft makeup. Cause I don't really do like glam. It's not my jam, glam is not my jam. Okay. And as you can see, my eyebrows have already been um, threaded. So I think that's a huge part of looking polished and looking easily, you know, made up is if you already have your eyebrows done. So I could fill in my eyebrows, but guess what? I don't feel like it because that usually, that alone takes up 10 minutes of your time and we don't got that kind of time. So this is supposed to be quick. This is supposed to be for people who don't really do makeup like that and you just want to look cleaned up. And see, I don't use a ton of concealer, just right here. And then we'll do the upside down tree. Okay, and then I'm going to, I don't even really have to wet this, but you could wet your um, sponge. But normally, if I was doing my eyebrows, I would be doing that now, and I would let the concealer set in a little bit before I spray it out. But we're not doing all that, because this is quick, 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 and this is for folks who don't wear makeup like that. So now we're gonna do an upside down tree of life. You know, this is just to create a, 
a little bit of a contour, okay? So now I'm going to do a little bit more contouring by using this um, foundation stick. I got this at Target, Target. This was probably like $2. It was on sale. They were getting rid of a bunch of makeup. I guess that was going out of season. And see, I just used this little brush and I put a tiny bit of the foundation on here. It's a darker color, maybe like two shades darker than my skin tone. Okay, I'll just put it there. I'm just gonna brush down. And as you can see, it's already making a difference, making the middle of my nose like more pronounced. And so I'm gonna use a finger to blend, 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 blend. And right now it's gonna look crazy, but it's gonna look better in a few seconds. Okay. Blending, blending, blending. And what I can also do is I can bring it in here. So this is almost giving the illusion of having eyeshadow on too. Because again, it's like a little bit darker than my skin tone. So it looks like uh, it's like a shadow, eyeshadow there. So we're gonna bring it all the way in. And then I'm gonna again blend so it won't look so harsh. That's the only, that's the whole point of blending is to get rid of some of the harshness. And you can see it's not completely perfect, but we're gonna clean that up. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go back in with the sponge just to clean it up a little bit. And we just want it to be like a straight line. Okay. okay. Now. We've already gone through half of our items. We're done with these three things. All right, now we're going to do our blush. And honestly, let me see. I could do more like a heavier look. Let's see. Don't laugh at my palette, y'all. It's been damaged. Here. But I'm gonna use this color here. What is this? Ada? Ooh, right there. Just get up a little bit of extra on to the crease. Again, this you don't even have to do this. Normally I don't, but I'm just doing y'all just doing this for y'all so you can see you can do a little extra extra. And you can see the slight difference is made with the shadowing. I have not put anything on my other parts of my lid at all. We're basically just working with the natural features of our faces. And see, I'm just going back and forth, back and forth. And you can see how it looks much more dramatic. Look at this side versus this side. Now let me go in on this side and do a little bit of shadowing in. So we just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Now let's do the blush. This you can use your fingers. Um, let's see. Do that much. All right. Let's go dab in. And again, we're like buffing and blending, buffing and blending. This is just to give like a natural flush because remember we're going to the gym. So it's gonna look like I've already worked out a little bit because I'm a little red on the cheeks. Same thing, a little bit to the other side. And this is great because it's hard to screw this up because it's so lightweight. You can always do more, you can do less. And I know most people don't put blush on their cheeks, like literally their cheeks, they just put it here. But I'm old school. I like 80s blush, 80s style blush. If I, I would probably do way more than this, but we are gonna keep it light. And then I like to use the excess to put up here on the temples. Again, I like 80s style makeup. Again, I would usually do way more than this, but we're not going to do all that. Okay. Now, last step. I told y'all this was easy. I'm going to do highlighter. Um, this is the Fenty Kilowatt. So one side is afternoon snack and the other side is uh, mauve honey. I'm using the snack side, afternoon snack. So I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger and that's actually way more than I would normally use. I'm gonna put it in the center right here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm gonna blend it out, baby. We don't want to look too crazy. You could put a little bit here, a little bit here. And just basically buffing it in. Again, that's the name of the game with light makeup. You buffing it, buffing it, buffing it in. 
and I'm not worried about hiding dark circles. This is just to look a little bit cleaned up. If I put in the eye, do my eyebrows, it'll look even better. Last step, um, I'm going to put oil all over my body, all over my body and do my hair. So let me get the oil. So again, we're going to the gym, we want to look glistening, right? This is magical. This, this Vaseline Cocoa Radiant Body Oil, it's expensive as I don't know what. I think this was like $8 for this little old bottle. But it's magical and it's gonna keep you moisturized all day. So let's do what the influencers do. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna put this all over my chest, arms, and on my legs. You won't get to see me do it on my legs, but you'll see the immediate difference in how shiny I look and how I just look radiant. Let's do a little bit more. Again, we want it everywhere. Like with this, you could layer it. Um, usually I'll put this on first, this Nivea Cocoa Butter Lotion. This is fantastic. Again, this might be like $6. So, so I could do this first and then this, but because, you know, second time, we're just gonna do quickly with this only. Put it on the back. And I'm gonna put it on my tummy. You see, you can already tell. I'm looking in the camera like, yeah, I look glistening, baby. Yes. Looking delicious over him. Okay. Okay, next. Like I said, off camera. Oh shoot, real quick. I'll go ahead and put the lotion on the legs. Why not? Okay, so now I'm gonna pick out my hair and I'll come to show y'all the final look. All right, so that's it for the look. Um, I guess I'll take some video of me heading to the gym and I'll say my final toodaloos then. So if this video was helpful, please um, like, share, and subscribe. And let's head off to the gym.